y'all. I pray you had a blessed week, especially praying for all of those who are affected by this um, virus and, and all the fear and everything that's involved. I just pray for peace over everybody, and I pray those who are affected, whether it's their jobs or their health, um, just know that my family is lifting everyone up, and we just uh, get through this all together. A friend of mine, Chris Rogers, sent me this cascara wood. I think that's how you say it. I'm sure someone will know exactly how to say it. But anyways, um, he sent me some of this wood all the way from Washington. So thank you very much, Chris. I appreciate you um, sending me this piece. It was a joy to turn. All the dust you see flying off of it as I'm turning it is because there was a lot of um, bug holes. There wasn't any bugs in it when I got it, but it had eaten the sapwood and that stuff flying off there was so dusty. And it uh, it's like kind of driving down the Limerick Road, a really dry Limerick Road. The, the dust was everywhere. It was on my skin. I mean, it was the dustiest stuff I've ever turned. Um, but I guess that's to be expected. All those bugs had a feast under there. Thank goodness not much of the wood was affected um, on the inside. There were a few uh, bug trails that I did leave natural. I didn't fill them. Once I got past all the dusty parts and the wormholes, um, and that's really what I was trying to get out was the majority of the um, eaten up parts. It was real soft anyway. It was it would sand away too too quickly if I were to try to leave it in so I just decided to try to get as much as, as I, I could out you know um, shaping it once I got into the meat of it past all the dusty parts and the wormholes and everything the wood turned very similar to red alder that was sent to me by Rick Chapman he um, he sent me some red alder and I, I turned it a while back and this turns very similar to that very smooth, beautiful, has the same kind of chatoyance in it. So an interesting fact about this particular tree is it grows a type of berry. Um, I guess they are edible, but they're not very tasty. The bark um, from this tree is used for um, a Native American. Um, Native Americans use them as uh, the bark as a laxative. So make sure you don't go and in ingesting any of it, especially with our current state of toilet paper shortage. <laughs> you definitely don't want to be <laughs> accidentally ingesting this and uh, finding yourself in a predicament. I started using a while back like old t-shirts and old um, like sheets and whatever cloth material I have um, that we're just going to throw out or had holes or rips or whatever in it. I started cutting them up in, in squares and putting them in a little bucket just to keep the dust out of them with the lid. Um, to apply my finishes and get the abrasive paste on and off it seems to work much faster and much better. Hollowing out the inside of this was just as nice as cutting the outside. It, it just 
It doesn't cut quite like butter, I would say, because I've had woods that cut, you know, a lot smoother, but it's very close to it. Really smooth. You can see the curls um, coming off there. It's just a really nice, smooth uh, wood. Like I said, if you've turned red older, it's very similar to it. Um, beautiful chatoyance in this wood all throughout it. Even before I um, sanded it, you could see some chatoyance in the wood. It's just beautiful color and beautiful green. Really nice and fun wood to turn. Now the abrasive paste and the um, polishing paste wax are all uh, food safe finishes. I wanted this piece to be used, you know, as something someone might put bananas in or food or, or whatever you wanted to use it for. It's and just wanted to open up the possibilities of food being put in it. Um, that's why I decided to go with it finished. Plus the wood was just beautiful on its own. It didn't need a high gloss. It it just, you know, with the wormholes too, it really gave it a nice natural, um, just, I don't know, I guess kind of on the rustic side because of the little holes and pits and stuff from the worms. I pray that y'all um, are blessed, safe, healthy, um, all of these things. And I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you for supporting me, sending me kind words, and watching my videos. So I appreciate it. Thank you so very much, and God bless.